Hey guys, I'm bringing you another card trick tutorial here, and um, I'm going to show you the most common performance of this trick, and then uh, in my tutorial, which is always the second portion of the video, I'll show you guys how to just tweak it up a little bit, and if you want to use this trick in a show, and you need a time slot filler, you know, I can show you how to draw this trick out and get a lot more effects out of it. So um, stay tuned for the tutorial in the second half, and enjoy the performance of this trick. Now I have a deck of cards here, okay? And it's a normal deck, okay? None of the cards are the same. You know, no gimmicks or anything, so what I'm going to do is just take the deck and I want to shuffle it up a little bit. Okay. Now I want to show you something really cool that I can do. I want you to cut the deck three times, okay? One, two, three. Now, the really cool thing is, I can tell you that the top card here is the five of spades, okay? I'll tell you that this card is the eight of diamonds. And I can tell you that this card is the Ten of Clubs, okay? Now let me show you what I mean by this. I said that this card was the Five of Spades, this card was the Eight of Diamonds, and this card was in fact the Ten of Clubs. So um, if you're wondering how I figured out what these three cards were after the spectator themselves cut the deck, here's the tutorial on how to do it. So it's very, very simple um, secret behind this trick, but um, it might be a little confusing for you guys to understand it at first, so um, just bear with me here. What you're going to do is show them that you have a regular deck of cards, you know, no gimmicks, no setups, no duplicates or anything. And um, you're going to have them <coughs> shuffle the cards a little bit if they'd like. If not, you can just do it yourself. But you're going to eventually have to do it yourself anyway. And no matter how you shuffle it, you're going to wonder and keep in your mind the bottom card, okay, which is the five of hearts. And if um, a lot of my videos I show you the bridge shuffle, you take the five of hearts and place it down first. And then it doesn't matter what the rest are, the five of diamonds is always going to stay, five of hearts is going to always stay on the bottom of the deck. Now, you have that card. You want to manipulate to the top by doing an overhand shuffle, and you're just going to be throwing the cards on top until you get to the last one here, okay, which is the five of hearts, and you're just going to put it on top. Now, you're going to ask the spectator to cut the deck three times, okay? Now, you know what this card is, okay? That's the five of hearts. Now, what you're going to do is, the confusing part, start with this card, okay, and say that this card is the five of hearts, okay, and you're going to pick it up. You're going to say this card now is the seven of clubs, which was this card. Put that up. Then you're going to say this card is the five of clubs, and when you pick this up, you're going to put it in place of the first card, like in the back, okay? You're going to say that this card is the five of clubs, but in fact, it's five of hearts. So when you go back over them, you're gonna, it's going to be in order now. Five of hearts... Seven of clubs, five of clubs, okay? So um, let me show you that one more time because I know it's it's quite confusing, especially uh, you don't have anybody in front of you actually showing you and explaining it in more detail. I have the bottom card, the seven of diamonds. Manipulate it to the top. Cut the cards three times. Have a spectator to do that. Remember, your seven of diamonds is here. Start on the opposite side. Call this the seven of diamonds. Call this the five of hearts. And I call this the, the Ace of Clubs. But when you pick this up, put it on the back. Now you just show them the cards you mentioned that were on the top are, in fact, the cards that you chose. So uh, just have fun with this one. And uh, let me show you Oh yeah, let me show you uh, how to draw it out a little bit. You can do the um, same technique, okay? And um, you have the bottom card, Seven of Clubs. And you're going to manipulate it to the top. Now you can say... To Spectre, cut them in half. This is the Seven of Clubs, and this is the Nine of Diamonds, okay? And you show them Seven of Clubs, Nine of Diamonds. And you're going to do the same thing again. Get the bottom card, you know, manipulate it to the top. And tell them, now cut it three times, okay? And you're going to say that this is the Nine of Clubs, Jack of Clubs, and Nine of Spades, okay? And you can see Nine of Clubs, Jack of Spades, Nine of Spades, Jack of, and you know? And then you can do it again. You know, I wouldn't go overboard with it. Keep doing it and do it because then they'll get the hint of it. But you can do it again if you would like a time filler and get the bottom card, you know, and then just do, tell them to cut it four times and just do the same thing, okay? So um, just have fun with this one. And uh, if you're confused by it and you need uh, just some assistance, you can personal message me or comment me, and um, I'll be glad to help you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. And as usual, just have fun with these tricks, you know. Just uh, have a blast.